Oh, sh Oh, my God. A perfect day today it's a little a little warm but it's it's a nice day it's hard to believe that there's actually a hurricane heading this way hurricane Ian which will be here on Wednesday today is Sunday so every year you know you have to get ready for for the hurricanes let's put away the firewood because it goes so fast if I don't buy it today there'll be none tomorrow so we don't know if uh, the hurricane is actually gonna hit this part, it could actually deviate, but it's important to be prepared. So right now I'm looking for the little clips, I think I found them, which are used to put, oh sh They're used to put plywood on the windows. So now I know where they are, and now I can be prepared. But like I said, we still don't know if it's coming this way or not, so I'm not gonna set that up yet. We'll wait a few days before that. Finally sitting down for a nice breakfast made by my awesome wife. Look at this. Moras, which is blueberries, I believe, in English. I could be wrong. Anyways, my friends, I've been setting up a lot of hurricane stuff for the last two days. It's crazy how it takes two days just to do those things. And Aria loves to be in my vlogs. She loves to be in my vlogs. By the way, look at my chili de arbol sauce. So chunky and so delicious, spicy, mm, mm, mm. All right, my friends, so Ian, the hurricane, it's gonna make its landing very soon. Very extremely windy right now. I'm gonna let you see it and hear it in stereo. I have a recorder right here in a pot. So the audio is gonna go stereo right now so you can see what it looks like and feel it. So if you have headphones, put them on right now. In three, two, one, go. This is what it sounds like in the Lanai. I hope you had your headphones on still, because I'm gonna switch to stereo in three, two, one. That's the size of it, and the little blue dot is where we are. So yeah, it's very, very, very close to where we are. And it's category four right now. Our lights have been flickering, so we are gonna lose power pretty soon. Hopefully we'll be very safe. I'll keep you guys posted. Contigo volé sin alas, no en tu propia piel. Me perdí en el horizonte, queriendo un día volver. ¿Para qué? Si ya no estás. ¿Para qué? Si ya no estás. ¿Para qué? By the way, I was looking down. You're probably like, oh wow, that's a sad song. He keeps looking down. Poor guy, the hurricane and all. No, it's just the lyrics. <laughs> I just have the lyrics down there. Cause I haven't sang this song in literally about 16 years. And my wife just reminded me of it. My daughter has some words to say, hold on. Cuando cantas esa canción, parecía que yo quería enseñar a mis niños cuando era muy grande. She's saying that she wants to show her own children this video and this song. That's cute, thank you. 
You got something to say to the camera or no? good of an idea this is but I have to trim some branches so I can see my house from an outdoor camera I just feel like it's kind of dangerous what I'm trying to do I don't know I'm gonna try okay. wish me luck oh man this is dangerous oh Oh my god, look at this. Okay, I gotta get out of here. That's it. I'm done with this. The eye is very close. It's like an hour away. That's why this, the winds are super strong. Anyhow, being out there, wow. So glad I have a house. I feel really bad for all the homeless people. I don't know where they are and what they're doing. I feel really, really bad about them. It's scary, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Can't wait for it to be, to be over. We don't have braces to support the door. So I put plywood and my car against it. And I don't know if that will be enough, but the door is really pushing in. Yeah, I better leave this spot right now. It's the morning after the Hurricane Ian and uh, around the neighborhood a lot of trees fell. Um, let me show you a little bit what it looks like. First my yard. First I'll show you my yard and then I'll show you the neighborhood so you have an idea. A lot of debris, debris. my beautiful loved palm tree nearly fell. Back fence is tipped over. Trees have fallen all around the place. My arecas suffered, of course. That's uh, that's one big tree right there. Wow. So sad. These trees have been here forever. We used to take our family pictures here. It's very sad. Some of my neighbors lost power and some other ones didn't. Like I never, we never lost power. So we're very lucky. Obviously when you look around this, it's nothing compared to Four Myers and Bonita Springs. Those places really suffer, they're underwater. So we have it good here in Sarasota. But still, this was a massive, scary, hurricane that lasted forever. I wish I documented more than just my neighborhood, but at least you get to see from the perspective of one person, one house, what a hurricane is like, what it feels like. Funny thing is no matter how much footage I show you and no matter how much I focus on showing you the sound in stereo and all of that, you will still never feel a hurricane through a video like you do in person. So 
as a family guy, as a father, the first thing you do when you come out of a hurricane, out of your house, is to look for damage to your home, and then you'll listen to the news and realize how people are really struggling, how people have it really, really bad, how lucky we are that we didn't have any severe damage to our home. So I'm gonna be putting some links in the description where you can help Florida and the people who, who have it really bad. You don't have to send me anything. You can always support the channel by becoming a patron or whatever, but uh, focus on those links so you can be part of the help, get Florida in good shape again, because it was pretty catastrophic. Um, also, as a little tip, when you are doing backyard, listen to good music and it makes things way easier. I'm picking up the backyard while listening to some Muse and Tool, and that makes a difference. Let's keep going. So I literally just spent about six or eight hours, I don't even know, no breaks, fixing up the yard. And I think we left it beautiful. It's perfect now. It was a teamwork, we cleaned the pool. So we're gonna do some grilling, cook up some hot dogs. Stay alert, always stay prepared. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching, see ya.